Hello all you YouTubers out there. Glorious people interested in metal lays, milling machines, and such. Yesterday, I went to my local metal recycling shop, and I picked up a bunch of these. I believe they're called CCMTs. They're small ones. They're carbide. They have actually four cutting points on them uh, but you generally only use two and they were recycled from a machine shop now these are industrial carbide inserts they're not the Japanese or well Japanese are probably good but they're not the Chinese ones the Chinese ones I've noticed on eBay, you can buy 10 of them for like around $30. These run about $15 a piece, uh, made in various countries, but they're not the Chinese ones. Now, I happen to think that a full-time industrial machine shop would not use uh, Amazon Chinese cutters. But anyway, these were recycled. So they weren't useful to them anymore. But I figured, okay, I'm going to resharpen these. Now, I've been doing this before. And I have this uh, lapping disc from a faceting machine. Yes, I have other hobbies. I work on gemstones. And you can sharpen these things pretty easily. This disc was normally, or was originally, excuse me, 800 grit. And I think it's so worn down now that it's about probably 1,000 or 1,200 or even finer. But you can very easily resharpen these by putting the flat on there doesn't take a lot of pressure and you can resharpen them and you actually get a very sharp edge and then you can put a radius on the nose of the cutter whatever radius you find is best for the work you're doing so there we have hope you can see it a radius so let's try this out on the lathe okay gonna try to do this one-handed on a piece of mild steel I'm going to start out with a 15 thousandths of an inch cut so it'll be 30 thousandths off of a total I'm going to run the mini lathe at about 650 rpm
And that gives me a pretty good finish. Fingernail test works pretty good. Let's uh, let's go back here, and we'll try five, ten, fifteen, twenty thousandths. Same speed, six fifty. <laughs> So, as you can see, put this all back. As you can see, used dull carbide indexers, indexable cutter inserts, whatever you want to call them. And I got a bunch of them, 15 of them specifically. These are 10 of the 15. I got 15 of them for a dollar. Which is a heck of a lot cheaper than paying $15 for one. Just a little money saving tip for our rather expensive hobby. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day.